What's up everybody, this is Josh here with Basement Level Magic and we are headed into our second match in this five match league with Atarka Red that just won the GP in Japan. We won the die roll and we are going to go ahead and play. So this hand looks decent. Uh, we could use more creatures, but I think we've got everything else we could use. This is a deck that I have not played before, but I've played many a red deck, and I do enjoy them, so I feel like I can probably figure it out, hopefully. Go ahead and play out the Cinder Glade, and watch. Ooh, what is this? Sludge Crawler. I guess I'll do the Dragon Fodder. I could easily see doing Wild Slash, but I would rather just... You know, if he wants to pump his guy next turn, that's cool. I'll just let him attack in if he wants. We do have removal for it next turn and Titan Strength. So I'd rather he spend his mana pumping the Sludge Crawler than killing our guys. And in general, most decks are not going to be faster than a deck like this one. Alright, so we do get an extra land. I'm gonna go ahead and try the Titan Strength first. Feel him out. I want to get the Scry also. I'd love to see a. Well, I was gonna say I'd love to see a creature, but I'm okay with another Titan Strength. And I just accidentally <laughs> threw it away. Ugh, that was awkward. Good thing nobody pays attention. Uh, that was that was weird. Not weird. That was just bad. Um, we could look to do a Tarkus command right now. Considering we don't know what's going to happen, I'm just going to take advantage of it as we can. I, I mean, it's not a horrible thing. We do have him down to nine. Could definitely be worse. I mean, we're also going to be able to play Become Immense next turn. And if we draw a green source, we could actually play. Okay, so he's gotten our Swiss Rear and our Zergo. Um, we could possibly play Become Immense if we hit a hit another green source. Become Immense and a Targus Command. And actually, we could do Wild Slash and Become Immense. So he could easily have a way around this, but I want to go for it. If we can get him down to down to two, we've got the wild slash in hand. So I figure we try for the win. Yeah. All right, it won't be as easy. So at that point, I'll just go ahead and kill this guy. So 
So another Katarka's command is not super exciting. Not with just one goblin out there. But it is four It's four damage with one with two two mana. If there's any chance of us playing it anyway, we want to do it now. All right, so he's going to be able to counter it. Did he not block? Something seems wrong here. Wow, Tomb of the Spirit Dragon. I have not seen this card forever. Gain one life for each colorless creature you control. Well, that seems like that makes sense. I'm always a fan of seeing decks I haven't uh, seen out on the on the main stage yet. Seems like a mistake attacking there. <clears throat> I had actually meant to uh, crack my wooded foothills before. But I'm going to grab the Cinder Glade now. If he doesn't block, we just go ahead and do all our stuff. And we're looking for a creature here. Uh, that is not going to work for us. Our opponent's deck seems <laughs> pretty well set up for a aggressive aggro deck. I mean, sludge crawler, complete disregard in the in the main. He's gonna be able to draw some cards with Fathom Feeder. This is going to be pretty tough unless we get a Horling Outburst by it, followed by another Horling Outburst. So we could go ahead and stop him from gaining life, but he's just going to gain it next time too. Yeah, life gain in the main, that is really good in a red world. Which I'm not saying we're in a red world right now. We There's plenty of Obzon and Esper out there right now. I just figured I might as well wait and see. Make him kill me. And possibly see a bit more of his deck. Wow, salvage drone too? All right. Somebody's trying to be more low to the ground than me even almost. Hmm. 
Hmm. What's it hurt to attack? We're dead anyway. We could actually do 12 damage if he didn't block. But this Tomb of the Spirit Dragon is going to gain him 5 more life. Wow, that is that is a pretty sweet find. I might have to go look through my boxes of cards. It's an uncommon. Stop him from gaining a little bit of life, but not much. If only I had Skullcrack too. Skullcrack plus a Tarkus Command. That seems like a deck. I really like Fathom Feeder. I would love to see a deck that plays Fathom Feeder and Wasteland Strangler. Watch this, I'm gonna blow this dude's mind. Boom. <laughs> oh, and he's gonna, good, he'll pump his own guy even more. <laughs> All right, just a negative seven. All right, so he, that is a different style of deck. Uh, Renny Volley works against, I guess, less than half of his guys. Chandra works against target player. Yeah, we want some early removal and Hmm. Not sure if Roast really makes sense for us. Or even Hordling Outburst. That's just such a good card. I feel like I'm probably looking to win with the combo this time. I'm going to do Chandra just to give us a different angle of attack. I feel like I'd rather have the token makers than, than something like Zergo or Lightning Berserker. Although, yeah. Lightning Berserker is just going to die to everything. Zergo is even better than that. Um, but I'll take Dragon Fighter over Zergo either, also. Yeah, let's try this. So we brought in the Chandras, we brought in the extra Hordling Outburst, we took out the Zergo, the Lightning Berserkers, and we brought in the Outpost Siege. Let's give it a whirl. It's a deck I've never seen before, I haven't even seen a list like this. Uh, looks like a keepable hand. Got some removal, we got some creatures. So I'll just go get a Canopy Vista, or whatever. Send a Glade. <clears throat> and I don't... I don't really want to do the abbot on turn two. 
If I can help it, I want to get some value out of it. This way, also, if he plays like a Fathom Feeder, we, we have removal up for it. Eh, it's not a Fathom Feeder. I'd rather be a Sledge Crawler. Well, we might as well kill this now. He's going to know about it. <clears throat> I'm going to wait to crack the fetch until our turn. Just because I want, I, I would really like to hit a land. Oh, wow. So he got rid of Ulamog's Nullifier. The good thing about killing his drone in response to the duress is that he has to go ahead and draw a card and discard before he sees what's in our hand. So that's why I did that in response there. I think hands down the most powerful card is Outpost Siege and I could see him wanting to take that. Because on the ground he pretty much has us beat but all right, he takes a wild slash. I'm surprised. I mean, we don't have mana to do outpost siege yet, and that that might be the explanation as to why he didn't take that. All right, so let's do the wooded foothills. Play our abbot. Hope to hit a land. That is not a land. That's an awesome card. <laughs> Uh, Become Immense is a pretty good card, though, too. I don't know if you've played with it before. But it's good. It's real good. Fetch land. Ugh. I was going to say, if we got a fetch land, we could do Become Immense Team or Battle Rage this next turn. Hmm. So I think we're probably on that plan now. We don't want to throw away our abbot for the pilgrim's eye. Oh, jeez. This guy's got all this stuff. Thopter Spy Network too? He's going to draw a card because pilgrim's eye is going to do damage to us? Jeez. If anyone knows this deck list, please post it in the comments below. I'm sure there's a chance that it's just this guy's brew and it hasn't been posted anywhere, but if it has been posted, let me know. I think it looks cool. Oh, come on. That Atarkas command is so good if we had a third land to get Hordling Outburst right now. Yeah, so he's going to just start pumping out tokens. I'm a bit surprised that he's playing Pilgrim's Eye. I feel like there's... Doesn't there have to be, like, a... cheaper 1-1 one -one artifact out there that can hit through the air? I guess not. They can't all be zero-mana ornithopters, I guess. I mean, the only positive thing going here is the fact that 
if we ever hit a land, ever, if we ever hit a land, we do have, um, you know, they've all got one toughness, so it's not like he's going to be able to pile up a ton of, a ton of ways to stop our team or battle rage become immense. Oh, jeez. The, the truth is, even though, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a sore loser, but the fact that I'm getting to see a pretty sweet looking deck, <laughs> I'm not too far from, I'm kind of okay with it. Jeez, two more non-lands. <laughs> Alright, give me a land and I'll be happy. I think, I think. Hey, there's a land. All right. So now the question is... Do we play the Hortling Outburst where we could block... Unfortunately, we can only... We can block the Sledge Crawler and the Fathom Feeder. He's going to get damaged through with the Thopters. Otherwise, we go ahead and play Become Immense, which... It'll be a 9-9 nine, nine plus the team or battle rage. Actually, I think that's that's the win, isn't it? Okay, if you 9-9 nine, nine after become events, 10 or it's a 10-9 after team or battle rage. With double strike trample, he'll take one damage from it. Yeah, I think we go for it. He's got no mana, and he's only got the 1-1. One, one. Always make sure to do your pump spell first. Otherwise, your team or battle rage will not have double strike. Or will not have trample. That's sick. <laughs> that is just sick. Just minutes ago, we were talking about how we are okay with losing this. And just one land, and we dealt 19 damage. <laughs> oh, this is cool. This deck's good. It's definitely good. You know, part of the reason why... We had issues there, I think, is because we took out maybe too many creatures. He did keep in the nullifier, so he does have a three mana or three toughness creature. I want to bring back in Zergo, at least two of them, just to give us a little bit more, a little, a few more creatures. I mean, we do have Dragon Fodder and we've got Horling Outburst, but we need more things to put all these pump spells on. All right, we actually made it to game three. All right, so many times I keep five landers and regret it. Uh, this is going to be one of those again, probably. <laughs> but having the two Horling Alpers in hand... Oh, there we go. Sit down. Alright, hanger back, Walker. We could just go ahead and get rid of it. Not sure what. Yeah, I just want to get rid of it. All 
I don't want to make it a bunch more uh, thopters when we finally do get rid of it. Oh, good. I'll just go ahead and grab the cinder glade right now. And he is going to be able to attach this ghost fire blade, which is going to be a pain in the butt. And it's a 3-3. Three, three. I probably should have held off until he attached the ghost fire blade. Yeah, I think that was a wrong play there. Uh, we'll go ahead and do our wooded foothills. Grab a mountain, play Hordling Outburst. I maybe should have played Chandra, but I just want to have a little bit better board presence. Alright, he is missing drops, so... So I'm gonna play the go do the goblin attack, then we'll play Chandra. This way, next turn we can tap Chandra, deal one damage, and then play a Hordling Outburst. Attack with Chandra. Once it's dealt three or more damage. So if we attack with her, then we can flip. I guess unless he keeps his Thopter back, which I don't really think he's going to. Yeah, right now he's he's ahead. So I would think that he would attack. I don't really want to take damage. Ooh, cancel. And so this will flip Chandra. And we can do two damage, two more damage to him with, with that. Oh, I thought that she could. Oh, you have to be able to flip her. Okay. So I'd have to have another spell to do it. That's okay. We did want to kill that. I mean, right now we've got eight power on the board. He's got a, he's got six cards in hand though, and he was missing land drops early. So he's probably got a decent shot at finishing us off. All it would take is another ghost fire blade, a flyer, whatever. Alright, so Fathom Feeder comes down. That'll kill anything. Two of them. Alright. Uh, I do wish I could have sacked this, but I don't think I should have. That does give us blockers for the Fathom Feeders, though. So he'll probably kill Chandra, I would think. I 
The good thing is there's not a ton of... Actually, I don't even know if there's a single... Because he's devoid here. I was going to say, there's not a ton of blue or black creatures that are... that have haste. What I wouldn't give for an exquisite firecraft right now. Or that one thing I called earlier, uh, lightning strike. I'm really hoping that lightning strike comes into standard with uh, Oath of the Gatewatch, I believe it's called. Jeez, another Fathom Feeder? He's going to be able to gain life, too. Yuck. We need an Atarka's Command here. He's attacking. So I'm going to crack this fetch land. One and two don't really make too much of a difference. All right, we need a Tarkus command off the top. Or Titan Strength or whatever. There's a few, a few draws we could have. Team or Battle Rage. I don't... That doesn't do enough, does it? He blocks, he gains two life. He goes up to nine. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's just not enough. Yep. Teamer Battle Rage on a 1 1 Goblin. The Thopter that we killed early on <laughs> did it. I mean, we only we kept him to one Thopter with his hanger back walker that he had on turn two. Ghost Fire Blade from turn one, and it went all the way. I suppose there might be a way that I could have done that differently. I don't know, though. I think about the only thing I could have done differently is I could have waited until it was his turn and had him up, attach the... Go ahead and attach the Ghost Fire Blade to the Hangerback Walker, and then use Fiery Impulse on it before it attaches. But then he ends up having two Thopters. Yeah, I think even with that line, we we probably still fall short because he'd have two Thopters that we can't handle. All right, either way, that was a pretty fun pretty fun game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This is Josh here with Basement Level Magic. We are playing the Atarka Red deck that just won the GP in Kobe, Japan. It was over the, the past weekend. We did play the Black White Warriors deck that it played in the finals on Sunday. If you go ahead and check back a couple days, you will see that, that video. That is definitely a deck that you haven't seen much of. This, this one you've probably seen a, a bit of play. But thanks for watching, guys. It's Josh here with Basement Level Magic. Later.